Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Let's go meet the boss. Let's get on with it. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. You just have to... He'll be right with us. <coughs> oh, damn. Fairly off. Need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Just tell me what you need me to do. All in good time, all in good time. Consider this. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. It's boring! Human too much talking. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. The job I got for you is simple. Enough. Jack owns a facility. There's an important package that went missing. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm... It's a metal case holding vials of... You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack, you should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. Check in with Maria at Parsons. You all set then? Yep, I'll see you soon with the packet. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. What is it?
kind of person who is uh, tired of living in Diamond City. What's up, Noah? Diamond City? Just follow the signs. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Damn it, Danny. Open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. 
What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. Oh, welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Don't let this muckraker here tell you other. I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. <laughs> no. Just looking for something? Oh, um, what is it? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going <sighs> no, Don't listen Reporters. to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't bother. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our... I hope so. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Officer, head on inside. <clears throat> hey. Stinks like humans here. Piper, you're back. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check... Uh, I don't need anything. Catch you later, then.
Need something, honey? Officer. Housing permit? No Looking for a job? of wine, Wellington. Certainly, sir. Anything for an upstairs restaurant. This is what I like about <coughs> oh, an astute I don't object to you sir. outsiders coming to me. Just freshen your glass again. Must you insist on speaking to me? Thank you, Wellington. Come on, Darcy. Let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. He's... Shut up, I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I, why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a... Sure. Get the lady another of That's more like it. Free booze. The fastest... Anyway, I got a bar to run. Ordering? Keep smiling, jackass. Let's see what you got. Bottoms up. Isn't it fabulous, sitting up here in the stands? Oh, you'll get addicted to it. I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. Favor puts on quite a show, huh? Quite a show. Hate it when they bring up the Institute. Ain't like folks aren't already scared of them. Keep talking, preacher. I'll be fine. Thanks. Welcome. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel?
I'm looking around for something. Aren't we all, son? But I'm guessing. My son was kidnapped. Your boy's gone missing? Blah, blah, I'm afraid blah. missing people don't get found in Diamond State. And with all the fear of the Institute and people... Whatever. I'm lost, Pastor. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up. But there is someone who might... Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Ugh. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Take care of yourself now. Oh, it's you. Glad to see you <coughs> stop by the chapel. You're here to pray. Hi. Sit down. You, you holding really up? Talk to the pastor. 